about it today, of course, is Tuesday. It's TMZ Tuesday. So what I do every Tuesday, I give you an extra TMZ bonus. Mm -hmm. It's the top five of the bonus. Ooh, the bonus is going to be so juicy. Anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed my show yesterday. I want to thank everybody who hit me up on the Google Hangouts. You can find me on there up under ptshowbiz at gmail.com. I spoke to, I, can you believe, I live right around the corner for one of my PT partners and husband, husband and wife. See, straight people watch me, y'all. Y'all, all you gays out there, y'all ain't the only ones that watch me. The straight people watch me too. So shout out to the to the to the husband and wife. We won't say their names, but hopefully I get a chance to meet up with you guys. I want to meet up with my Houston people so we can all hang out, go to the movies, or maybe you know go out to dinner or whatever. You know, make sure y'all have your own money. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, oh, welcome to the show. Today, of course, is Tuesday. Oh, please hurry up, Hump Day. Listen, we have one more week. I think of Houston is supposed to get really really cold. I am determined to fire up this damn fireplace and do a show in front of the fireplace no matter what. And I'm still waiting on to do this 9,000 subscriber show. So it's, it's coming soon. I'm almost there. Okay, so now. Anyway, so I, before I go any further, if you live in the Michigan area, Southfield, Michigan, that is, this, this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, my girl Lunel. There she goes. She's going to be in the building. And um, she's going to be at the Punchline Comedy Lounge. That's the 12th through the 15th. But y'all, get your damn tickets to go. Listen, can I just put this out there? Is there anybody out there that would like to send me this weekend? Uh-huh. All expenses paid. I'm just saying, you never know. Hey, you have not cost your ass. Now, I'm just asking. You never know. But if you, if, you, if you think you can make that happen, just hit me up. No, 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 just, I just decided to ask that. Uh, it may not happen, but you never know, because <laughs> you never know who's watching. <laughs> so anyway, to all my Houston people out there, please, guys, email me at ComedianPT or PTShowbiz at gmail.com so we can try to make this Houston gathering happen. Okay, so again, Lunell will be uh, there in uh, Southfield, Michigan, okay? So make sure you guys, please, 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 please get your tickets now because it will be sold out. Also, I'm sure it's not too far from um, Detroit, you know, but anyway, you can Google it and find out where she's at. So please, please go check her out. And she know, she, she sells these shirts. This is not the only shirts that she sells. She also sells the the t-shirts and stuff like that, different sizes. So, so get your shirt, child. And tell her P, tell her PT sent you. <laughs> okay. Also, I want to say this. This really touched my heart. And I hope Luna, I know she'll see this video. She watches my videos. Uh, this really, really touched my heart. Lunell, she she just got back from being in St. Louis and she's back on the road again. She's the hard working woman. She works hard for her money. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So hard for her, honey. Mm -mm -mm. She works hard for the money. And she Ow. <laughs> I love that song. So she's a, she's a hard worker. But this really touched my heart. It really touched my heart. Check out this check out this picture. See what she did? She took out her time. She took out her time to stop by and give her condolences to Michael Brown. I, I, I give my hats off to you for that, Lunell. That just really touched my heart. You know, she didn't have to go over there and do that. She could have just went in there and did the show and went home. No, she did that. I, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Really, really touched my heart. Really touched my heart when she did that. All right. Here we go. Showbiz Top 5, number 5. Trey Songz Update. Trace, trade songs update. All right. Showbiz top five, number four. Flay, Floyd Mayweather, I'm going to read his ass today. He going to get read for filth. That's what we say in our community. <laughs> so, uh, I knew this was coming. Black China update. <laughs> of course, Showbiz top five, number two. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you who I'm talking about in just a second. I'll give you her last two names. A. Fox. She went in, baby. And, of course, this is the bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, Cardi B. 
and some information on her you probably never heard before. But I'm calling, and of course, show me top five number one. <laughs> that damn wham boy is out of line, baby boy. <laughs> It's way out of line for what he did to Kim. So that like, baby, <laughs> it's the mess. Oh, let's get, let's talk about it. Let's get into the show. All right, all right, all right, all right. Happy, 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 happy Tuesday. This is TMZ Tuesday. We're gonna do this every Tuesday. All right, now listen. Uh, I talked about this some time ago. You know, Trey Songs. I don't understand. I, it's something to this story I don't get. And this happened around the time I was in Los Angeles. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? He's allegedly supposedly hit this woman because the woman was talking to some man or hmm. and inquiring minds want to know, was it his man? Or what? Supposedly this girl had been knowing Trey Song for a long time. Trey Songs don't give me that he get into no trouble. I don't get I don't get him. You know, like you listen to his music, he's mellow, laid back. Mm, you kind of suspect a little bit, but you know, <laughs> who's not, right? But I'm like, I don't get this. This ain't the first time this whore didn't have some type of outbreak. Yeah, I call him a whore. He'd have some type of outbreak, some fighting, something going on. Well, here's, here's the latest with him. Well, he won't be fe facing felony charges, but uh, for, you know, supposedly hitting this lady, according t to TMZ. Um, he, they're saying here that they referred this to the LA City Attorney, which now they will try to decide. They're gonna, they're gonna try to get you <laughs> some kind of way. They're gonna try to decide on if they can do a lesser charge, like you know, a misdemeanor or domestic violence. Uh huh. Uh huh. Trey Songz, get your ass somewhere, sit down. It just, that's the, it. What your mama said, you, what your mama used to say, two and two. This don't add up. Something ain't adding up. <laughs> it's just not adding up, y'all. You can't tell me. That you just, you at this party doing the, uh, you know, when all, a lot of shit went down during that damn uh, All-Star Weekend. Everything went down in L.A. And I'm thinking, okay, I think this was the week before we got to L.A. for Lunell's party, right? So I'm thinking, okay, now, y'all at a party. Ain't no cameras around. Did nobody see you hit this woman? Mm-hmm. She could be lying. I don't know. Because, you know, cameras are everywhere. You can't do nothing these days without a camera being somewhere. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted on this story. I don't know what's going to happen because all I know is, Trey Song, you need to get your ass sit down and make some damn music and stop just... Let's move on. Let's <laughs> show me stuff out. This is going to be number four, okay? Let's talk about Floyd Mayweather. Money Mayweather, as they call him. Where he was in Atlanta Monday night, he was cutting up at the club. I'm sure he was at the strip club, throwing money in. They said they had all kind of sparkly stuff going. Oh, trust me, boo. He wasn't just throwing no money. He was throwing tons of coins and cash. Oh yeah, he was throwing that purse, baby. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> so as they was leaving the club on their way to the in the continental in Buckhead. Shout out to Buckhead. Shout out to Atlanta. See you guys for my birthday day in the end of June. Yeah. So Chad, they was on their way to the hotel Intercontinental in in Buckhead. Mm -hmm. Where the nice shops and everything in there over there where Houston is, where they shut down from TI and they were over there protesting and stuff. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> So they, uh, there was in three, three convoy, three cars, whatever. Car pulls up to the side. What does this story sound like? A damn, damn Tupac story. So they pull up and they, sh the guy, whoever shoots into the car and they didn't get, you know, Mayweather, who I'm sure that's who they was trying to get. And they shot the bodyguard in the leg, honey. They rushed him to Grady. Shout out to Grady Hospital. <laughs> yes, honey. So, and so they rushed him to Grady. And, um, you know, I, it's just with leg injuries. But I, my thing is this. My thing is this. Floyd Mayweather, you got enough money. That whole damn car, every last one of them cars that you was in could have been had, could have been shielded with some type of protection. Now, you run around here showboating. <laughs> As your, your grandma and me say, you run around here showboating all this damn money. Uh, right here, yeah, flashing and doing all kind of stuff. If you, if you, you got enough money to where you could actually have your cars flown into the city that you're going to go into. You have to remember that, that you are Floyd Mayweather. Everybody don't like you. And everybody don't like me. I can't afford to have a bulletproof car, but you definitely can't, could. Listen, there was a there's a place in, in Dallas uh, that was, they sell Cadillacs. And I think I was with a friend. They were looking at some cars. And I asked the guy, do y'all sell cars that have bulletproof? Yeah. 
they have bulletproof cars, but you know, you have to be somebody, you know, big to, first of all, well, I don't think you have to be anybody big. You just have to have the money to be able to, uh, you know, afford it. But I think everybody like Floyd Mayweather, you know, some of these big celebrities, people that are huge, you definitely need some type of protection because everybody out there is not your friend, baby. And I just think, uh, I'm glad he's okay. I'm glad nothing happened to Floyd, but then he's always running around flashing his money. Mm-hmm. Always running around flashing the showboat. And I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody, let's get your ass somewhere. Yes. What did you say, Mike Tyson? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mike Tyson, I'll hit. Mike Tyson is over there. I have celebrities in another room. Yeah, I was talking about uh, Floyd Mayweather got a lot of money, but he he don't think he can afford a car like he got. So you have a car like that too, Mike Tyson? You have a car with this uh, shielded and everything? Maybe your ex, Robin, should have been made out of the shield that made out of that car since you allegedly was beating on her. Anyway, let me finish up before he come out of here. So, <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm going to move on. That's, I'm glad he's okay, even though he get on my nerves. We don't wish no bad luck about nobody. Let's move on. This is Showbiz Top 5, number 3. Let's talk about Black China. I knew it was coming, child. I just said the other day when I was doing my entertainment news, Rob, leave China alone. Don't become trying to take that damn baby. You know, let the child dream, okay? The child been in a nightmare ever since the child been born. And King, you know, let King be a king and let him be, you know. Uh, just, so here's the deal. Well, she says she's ready to fight. She's ready to fight. I knew it was coming, y'all. But listen, quite a skip. It ain't him. Excuse me, y'all. It ain't him, bitch. It's the mama, okay? <laughs> child, it's the mama. You know it's Chris. You need to go, you need to cut, because listen, Floyd, I mean, not Floyd, that whole talking about me. That damn Rob ain't got no type of backbone, just a fat slob. I'm sorry, y'all, I have to say it. Fat slob ain't thinking nothing about, just ain't thinking about nothing. The whore might live with his damn mama. He might. He just, he don't give me like he don't have no type of, I don't know. I don't know. He have, he's had, To me, he has a low self-esteem. I mean, look what he did to himself. Uh, anyway, she said she going to fight. And, you know, when they had that hip-hop stroller fight, <laughs> there's six, six flags. <laughs> you know, it, it, she said she's she going to stick to her words. According to uh, our sources, our, uh, close sources of her, said she's going to stick to what she said. I was protecting my kids. And, and I, 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 I agree with China. I'm on China's side. But how the hell did they get closer to them children if you got security? Again, here we go. You guys are celebrities. China, how in the hell did you let these people get that close to your damn child? Ugh. You know, it, it, it's just... I, I don't I don't know. She said she's going to fight. She said she's not going she to sit back and just let anything happen. And she shouldn't. But you best believe Chris, I ain't going to say Rob, I ain't going to say Rob is trying to fight her. Chris is trying to fight her. And this would be a sad situation if they take the child from her because the child ain't going to be able to dream. The child just going to be in a nightmare for the rest of his life. This, this, is, this whole situation is sad. When you have kids, I know sometimes nothing always is planned out the way it's supposed to be. But just try to plan things out for you have sex with somebody and have children. But we already know what when she got a baby by Rob. Yeah, it was planned all right. <clears throat> she planned it. <laughs> but she didn't put, she allegedly, to in, my, in my mind, she didn't plan it the way he wanted it to be. She planned it, though, planned it the way she wanted it to be. Yes. Shut up, Kim. You shut up. Ain't nobody said nothing to you. Kim. Whatever. Your brother is uh, overweight. Same thing, fat, overweight, obese, whatever. Bye, Kim. Damn, Kim. Anyway, <laughs> so, so she she had she had already made the plans. She made the plans. She knew, she knew exactly what she was doing, honey. She knew exactly what she was doing. And now look at the mess that she's in now. I just again, if there's anybody out there to sell hip hop strollers, will somebody endorse this woman, honey? Because I I applaud her. I applaud her for taking it for her kids. But again, how did they get so close to the damn children? 
Mm, I don't get that. But anyway, okay, guys, now I'm going to give you guys, of course, a bonus. This is uh, TMZ Tuesdays. So that's what I got. I'm going to start doing it on Tuesdays. I give you an extra little bonus. All right, because some of y'all think I don't be on here long enough. All right, here we go. Well, let's talk about Vivica A. Fox. Well, as you know, she uh, wears her foxes and things and her furs. And uh, she was at Barnes & Noble the other day. I was going to talk about this the other day, but something else came up and I said I'll save it for later. And baby, she told them girls to stay in their lanes. <laughs> one thing, this one girl you don't mess with is Vivica A. Fox. Hey, 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 Fox. <laughs> Baby, Fox is a mess, and hey, when they say hey, it's just on and popping, ready to fight. But, you know, even though she's a classy woman, she's got it going on, she don't play. She gives me this, she don't play. Well, she told them girls, honey, she was standing like this, you know, she was standing like this, like she could not be bothered, first of all. She said, God bless y'all. God bless y'all. She said, they were saying, like, don't wear fur, don't wear fur, don't wear fur, da 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 da. She was like, God bless y'all, God bless y'all. Uh-huh, uh-huh, whatever, you know. And she <laughs> stayed in y'all lane. She's like, stay in y'all lane. She said, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. <laughs> she said, don't compare if you can't compete, baby. She <laughs> she had went in on them people. <laughs> them, 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 <laughs> those Peter people. Let me just say this. It's a cruel thing for animals to be killed for you to wear their stuff. Well, it's a cruel thing to kill a damn chicken to eat some damn chicken. It's a cruel thing to eat a, to kill a damn cow to eat a cow. Do all the PETA people, all the veg, veg, uh, ve vegans, do they eat meat? <clears throat> if, you, if you're eating something, you would have killed something, unless they just eating straight plants. Then you might well say, well, God put this on this earth for us to, uh, you know, not eat it, just let it be here so he can nourish it. Yeah, yeah, come on. I just think, to me, Peter just overdoes it. It's like, y'all can't, y'all, first of all, y'all can't run up on nobody. Y'all run up on the wrong girl, honey. It's on the papa. And there used to be a time where they would just go run up on a bitch and throw paint on a bitch. It wouldn't be me. No, ma'am, honey. Because that's an assault. You can't run up and throw no damn paint on nobody. You get the right bitch. Get the right bitch, honey. Throw the right paint on the right bitch. I bet you wouldn't have to throw no paint on Vivica Fox. Mm -mm. No, ma'am, honey. Nope. Mm -mm. But I, again, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible thing to see animals to be tortured for you to wear their stuff. But first of all, I can't wear no, I can't wear no damn fur because I can't afford it. But if I decide to wear fur, I didn't kill the damn fox or the damn cougar or whatever it is. They killed it. I'm just wearing it. And that's my choice. And you can't get mad at me for that. And I can't get mad at anybody who decides they want to wear something that was killed because that, that's their that's they choice. You know, you could, you could, just like it's your choice to say it's wrong. But you're not going to come up in my face and try to tell me. I don't go up in your face. Because, first of all, I don't know what the Peter people are doing outside. They're protesting. I don't know what they're doing. they probably doing a whole lot of stuff, having unprotected sex and, you know, probably having, un, un, sleeping with somebody else's girlfriend or boyfriend or they ain't supposed to be, just all kind of mess. Ain't nobody perfect Peter people. So y'all can say what you want to say. Yeah, I don't want to see an animal kill for you to wear their fur. But if somebody decides to wear their fur, you can't get mad at them. That's their business. You can't tell nobody. That's like I'm trying to tell a woman what to do with her damn body. It don't make no sense. Anyway, child, Vivica got them right together, child. She slayed them, should I say, and put them in their place. So I say, you go. Don't forget to watch Vivica Fox. She'll be on Wendy today. All right, also, here we go. This is the bonus child. This is something about Cardi B I never knew. Well, maybe you guys knew, but she she did a interview and she uh, talked about her getting her butt implants. And she said it costs $800 and she was in a lot of, lot, of, lot of pain. And she talked about how for four or five days that she was weak and four or five days it leaked and she thought she was going to die. She was supposed to go back for a, uh, uh, she was supposed to be going back to get a, uh, you know, uh, uh, to, to, to have something, stuff be done. And said the only reason why she did it is because her boyfriend cheated on her. Because all the other girls have big butts and he, she felt like, well, she needed to do it too. Because he cheated on her with a girl with a big butt. She started stripping at 19 and she just wanted to fit in. Listen, I'm glad she's alive. Because you know as well as I know, I've known quite a few girls, trans, transgender girls, 
who have left up out of here for butt, butt implants. And she said that she didn't go back because, um, because the lady, she supposedly, supposedly the lady went to jail for killing somebody, allegedly killing somebody. You know, this is a horrible situation. And then they, they talked to her, uh, her about gangs and stuff. And I had said something uh, about a couple of months ago. Why is she, you know, when she, when she did all the stuff about the bloods and the gangs and stuff. I was like, why would she say something like this? It's like you've been blessed to up elevate yourself and go into another whole another realm of your life and you sit up here stirring up mess <laughs> before you go to Los Angeles and you know that's the home of the of the Crips and then you sun up talking you you but anyway, she said that she really is not really into the games anymore. She said she hasn't left the games, but she's moving on with her life. And she said she only did that because she was younger. You know, she said, why would you join a gang and you're older? Well, that's easy for you to say, Cardi B, when you don't have, people don't have the money that you have. They don't have the support that you have. I, I don't knock people for being in gangs. I don't like it. But, 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 you know, some people just don't have, the, they don't have the support. You know, they don't, I'm sure that if I had been raised in a certain city and we have bloods and bloods and crips around and I didn't have family and I didn't have anyone to look at, I could have been a blood, I could have been a crip. You just don't never know. Or some other, they got other gangs. You know, child, they got gay gangs, honey. They got cliques, you know. They got people in the gay clubs and everybody clicking on a little clique and they'll fight each other. It's, it's like that, you know. So I'm happy that she she didn't die behind a button and plants and ankles. That's some serious stuff. Yeah, she said she paid eight hundred dollars, and uh, hmm. so I'm glad she revealed that she. I, I hope that she, you know, since she's got her money, you know, she should, you know, that silicone that she got. If that that woman allegedly killed somebody, they still ain't gonna hurt her to get checked to make sure that she all right. Cause I know people who die years later from that stuff, you know, cause you don't know what they putting in you. But anyway, she's here. She's doing good. So that was it. Uh, that was your bonus for the day. Let's move on to Showbiz Top 5, number one. Here we go. I'm going to do my best not to laugh <coughs> at this <laughs> Showbiz Top 5, number one. But Marlon uh, is wrong. He's wrong for what he did. And, you know, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. <clears throat> but, you know, and <laughs> when does... When is it, when is it, some things doesn't become comedy? When you when you when you when you post a picture up of somebody and you say this person look like this and it's kind of insulting, is that comedy or is that bullying? I mean, where when you draw the line? Here we go. Well, I don't know if you guys heard or not, but Kim Zolzak and her husband Troy is evil. But girl Marlon Way, they call him a pussy and unfunny, and. He he had posted up this picture. Here's a picture. Show the picture. What okay. Without me even telling you the story, I already know you know what I'm about to say. Well, he posted and he said on his Instagram, well, what the fuck? He was like, this is not... Uh, we're not in production of the white chicks... Uh, uh, two, the buck. I gotta be honest with you, y'all. Look at the picture. She do look like the white chicks. <laughs> but baby, she was evil. She was hot, and then she 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 went off on them on Instagram, and he still got it up. He still got it on his Instagram. What do you guys think? Do you think he's wrong for that? You think it's just comedy? What would you do if she posted up something that was kind of mm, racial, like mm, dealing with Africa or dealing with some type of racism? How would you feel? You know, would you feel the same way? Would you laugh it off? Or you know, what, what do you think? What do you think? What do you, what do you what do you think? Do you think that he was in line or out of line for that? Me, I think he was out of line, but you know, that's his Instagram. He can post whatever he wants on there. But you're a grown man, you're a grown man, and you're just sitting around. What the Bible is, they said the idle mind is a devil workshop. So you're a grown man, you ain't got nothing else to do, but post this latest picture up there. I'm sure somebody sent it to him. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he works enough. He, he's always on the circuit. He's always at a comedy club. I'm sure he works enough, though. He's not just sitting around 
trying to find something to do, but apparently that day he did find him something to do and pissed off Kim Zolak and Troy. Ugh, I don't know. Ugh. Hmm. But anyway, ah, uh, that's show me stuff five number one. Tell me what you guys think. Tomorrow I'm actually gonna be giving you guys a rundown of the Housewives of Atlanta reunion. There's gonna be like two or three parts. So we'll talk about the first one and then uh, we'll talk about the second. We'll talk about all of them. So um, I'm going to make our go and recap on them and check them out and see what they're talking about. I did see some of the outfits on on the girls' outfits that they had on, on the first one. And them hoes was beat. And I must give it to, uh, uh, to, 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 to uh, what's that name? Porsche. Porsche was beat. And it's just, they all look good. It's unfortunate they said that Cherie won't be back. I like Cherie, y'all. I was rooting for Cherie. I wanted her to come back because, you know, she had a house done and, you know, she's working on a new relationship. All kind of stuff. What kind of, what does she do? Can anybody tell me what she do? How does she make her look coins to build a big old house like that? Anyway, child, <laughs> all I can say is leave a comment below tell me what you think do you think he was out of line for posting her picture on his instagram saying that she's like that she do look like the white chicks too y'all i'm sorry she do I, I just have to say it is it wrong for him to do that is it right what do you guys think all right guys i'm pt thank you guys for tuning in this is showbiz top five right here every monday through friday with all your latest entertainment news and gossip every tuesday is tmz tuesday and i give you a bonus whatever you do God, uh, please leave a comment below like subscribe, and share my videos. And make sure whatever you do, tell somebody about PT Showbiz Top 5. And another thing I need you to do, please hit that like button and make sure that you also uh, sh uh, hit the PayPal button and show me some love here for my show, okay? I'm almost at 9,000. I haven't quite got there yet, but I'm close to it. As soon as I hit the 9,000 mark, I will definitely be having a party. All right, all right. Shout out to all my new subscribers. I love y'all out there. Everybody watching who don't say nothing. Shout out to y'all. I love you guys. You guys take care. I'll see you soon. Adios.